Hey, how's it going guys? Back again for another episode of The Final Whistle. And today there's some breaking news out of the world of football that Sammy Kadira is going to be retiring at the end of the year. And no, he's not retiring from the German national team. He is retiring from professional football. He has had a 15-year long career. And Sammy Kadira is now 34 years old, wrapping up his career with Hertha Berlin. He's having a good time in Hertha. He's a quality footballer, obviously. Great experience under his belt. He's won many trophies. Obviously, everyone knows Sammy Kadira for winning likes of the World Cup in 2014 with Germany and for winning La Liga with Real Madrid. People don't look back at his career when he was a younger player for Stuttgart, for his career right now with Hertha, for what he did with Juventus. And people really got to look at it, the whole of his career. And he was a fantastic player. People might underestimate defensive midfielders and physical midfielders like he was. Sami Kadira was a guy who would go into a challenge. He was very physical. If you look at what he did over his career... He wasn't a guy who would go score an amazing goal. He wasn't your Tony Cruz. He couldn't hit hit a 80-yard ball or 60-yard ball to whoever you want. Sammy Kadir was a guy who would drop back in the midfield, who was very disciplined, who was very talented in his own profession. People might think defensive midfielders aren't as talented as other midfielders. Some might argue they're more def- more talented, and they could easily be more talented. You're, you're asking a guy to be disciplined, to stay in one spot of the field, or you're asking him to track runners, watch runners the whole game. And Sammy Kadir was unbelievable at being physical, staying in position, very smart. His passing was unbelievable, keeping it neat and tidy, hitting it long when he needed to, playing very smart. He's a very intelligent footballer. I loved watching Sammy Kadir. He's a fantastic player. To see his smile walk, running down the field, watching him play, always smiling, a great player. Sammy Kadir is quality. And without Sammy Kadir... It's going to be a shame because I always loved watching Sammy Kadira. Yes, he's 34, but I think you never know. We could put a year in a tank still. But, yeah, I got to say, Sammy Kadira, congratulations on a long, long career. You've, you've been playing in the game for 15 years. I just want to talk about some of like, the trophies he's won. It's been unbelievable. Like, if you go through his list of trophies, it's it's so long. You talk about the likes of Sir Alex Ferguson winning so many trophies with, with Manchester United for 21, 22 years. Look what Sammy Kadir won for 15 years of playing football at defensive midfielder. And and he hasn't won it all at top clubs. Yes, he's played at Real Madrid and Juventus, but he still won stuff at Stuttgart. Yes, he won stuff at Stuttgart. UEFA Super Cup winner in 2014-15 under that unbelievable Real Madrid side. He was a one-time German U- U-17 Bundesliga championship. You could underestimate the the lower championship to you whatever but it's still a huge trophy. I don't have a U17 Bundesliga Championship trophy, and you probably don't either. And it's unbelievable for a young guy to win that, and you got that winning experience under your belt, and this guy is a winner from young age all the way till he's 34. He also won the U19 Bundesliga Championship. This shows how good that Stuttgart side was coming up through the years. They won the 03-04 U17, and then they won the 04-05 U19, which is unbelievable each year they won a trophy. He also went on with Germany to win a U21 championship. And then two, a couple of years later, in 2014-15, he ended up winning the FIFA Club World Cup winner with Real Madrid in 2014 and Real Madrid in 2015. That was that unbelievable Real Madrid side that just would not lose and won so many Champions Leagues in consecutive fashion. Jumping over to Italy, where he had so many years with Juventus, 15-16, He's won five Italian championships, five Scudettos, which is unbelievable. Cristiano Ronaldo won't even do that. You could say, yes, Ronaldo hasn't played in that league that much. But Ronaldo's not even winning it this year. Sammy Kadir won it every year he was with Juventus, which is unbelievable. He won it in 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20. That's outstanding. He also won three Italian Cup Winners' Cups. You could downplay it saying, yeah, Juventus' team was unbelievable back then. Juventus only won the league. But look at now. Inter Milan's still winning the league. AC Milan's a big team. Atalanta... That's some tough competition. And he won it in 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18. So right there, he has eight trophies just coming in Italy. He also has some more trophies to talk about. He won the Spanish Cup Winners' Cup with Real Madrid in 2012, 2013. Two Spanish Cup winners in 2010, 2011, and 13, 14. And a Spanish Cup, which is obviously the La Liga trophy. And he's won... The Champions League, obviously, we everyone knows he won. He won one lows in thirteen fourteen, and the big one that everyone talks about is the World Cup that he won with Br- Germany in Brazil in twenty fourteen, which he was unbelievable in that tournament. Might I add, people underestimate what he really did there, and I think you got if if you haven't seen what he actually did in that tournament, go back and look. He was unbelievable. The one I want to talk about, people won't 
obviously probably know about this unless you're huge into football, is a Stuttgart. He won, like I said, he won that U17 championship, won the U19 championship, and two years after he won that U19 championship, he went on to win the Bundesliga trophy. And they won the Bundesliga. Stuttgart. Stuttgart won the Bundesliga. Yeah, I'm saying that right. In 06, 07, Stuttgart won Bundesliga. It even baffles me to talk about these days. But to think everyone imagines, these days you look at, oh, Bayern's going to win it, Bayern's going to win it, Bayern's going to win it. Look back, Stuttgart won in 06, 07. If you don't believe it, go look at that team. It was an unbelievable team. It's just like the lost Lille we're seeing today. You just don't have the oil money that you have today. But for a team like Stuttgart to bring a team up the ranks like that through U17, through U19, and then win the Bundesliga, with a guy like Sammy Kadira, who's at the heart of it all, who's always there, brilliant. Like, he won one, two, three, four... Unbelievable amount of trophies. Like it, it's hard to even count while I'm doing the video, and I don't want to count because it'll distract me from the video. But people, people don't look at what he's done with the whole. He was born in Stuttgart, won the Bundesliga in Stuttgart, won many trophies in Stuttgart. He's finishing his footballing career at the age of 34. Sami Kadir is one of the world's best ever defensive midfielders, in my opinion. I think he's been unbelievable in his career, and I think he's underestimated in Germany. He's probably underestimated around the world for what he's done. Like I said, he's a physical player. He can knock the ball around how he likes. And he's always been a winner right from a young age. And his experience has followed him ever since. Big up to Sam and Kredira. You've had a 15-year career playing at all the top clubs. Even Stuttgart winning it at your home club, which is, most people will never get to say they have. Even people in England, everywhere around the world, nobody ever usually comes out and wins a trophy where you're born and raised. And he did that in Stuttgart. And good on you, Sammy Kadira. Praise you for those 15 years. You've done unbelievable. Have a great retirement. You deserve it, man. Thanks, everyone, for another video. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys like me talking about Sammy Kadira. It's a little bit outside the box, but he's a fantastic player and he deserves his dues. And I hope everyone acknowledges how good his career was because I really think he had an unbelievable career. Big up to Sammy. See you guys for the next video very soon. Peace out, guys.